Hi there everyone, just uh, want to make a tutorial on the flash and ambient. So I have my brightest exposure here, I already adjust the slider, so let me just set it to default. Okay, so my brightest exposure is too bright, so I'm going to take exposure down a bit, dehaze it a bit. You can play with your highlights and shadows also. And this layer is actually fine, but I want to dehaze it a bit to bring out some more color, like on top of this, on top of the stand here. Okay, didn't do much really, but anyway. So select both layers. I'll click on the on the top, hold shift, and then click at the bottom. Open images. So yeah, we want to click stack as layers. And go to our expo blend and click flash ambient. Okay, so this is our blended result. You can you can double click on this mask or if you want you can click on refine mask and then you should get the feather and the density uh, of that mask um, but if you are selected on this one then just make sure to click on the mask icon so that you get these sliders here and then you can play with the feather this is kind of like resizing your brush like uh, when you are doing hand blending so there's somewhat similar you can play with the density also but I don't I don't really do that I just play with the feather but by default it gives a decent result with, with the default feather um, so next thing what you want to do is remove some color but let's go to the side here because I want to remove that wire just to show you how to do it if you don't know how uh, the side's got too much I'm not taking all that away now in this video so make a new merged layer click on that and then what you want to do is set this blend mode to color choose your brush tool and then what you want to do is sample from below the weird shadow color so that's coming from the flash so sample that color hold down alt or option on your keyboard and sample the color below or wherever you find the proper color sample that and then you can start brushing out that weird warm color you can make a selection using your lasso tool or quick selection like that and then you don't have to be too careful Select that brush tool, sample color. I actually had the color already, but okay. Sample that. Okay, so so now we remove that weird color. Um, we have a sharp, strong shadow here, so we're gonna click our luminosity layer on the mask. Sorry, and then we're gonna brush with white as our foreground color. You can maybe just take the flow down to fade it away you'll still have that weird color there though so the color will remove on the color layer choose the color layer and sample your color start removing that weird color okay so we can flatten this now and we can remove our this wire if you if you do that kind of thing in here so let me just show you how in case you don't know so choose your patch tool just select around the object <clears throat> just give it a bit of room but not too much backspace 
if you if you set here on the contents to content aware then you can just press enter and it does a decent job like that do the next part select the object backspace enter okay we need to fix this here backspace enter okay i just made it worse select that and use the patch lump don't backspace here just drag it up something like that that's fine okay let's go to the next image okay, so we'll take our flash shot ambient so that's the brightest ambient i have there <coughs> okay so set this to default this one i lift okay so it's too bright so i'm gonna take exposure down dehaze it highlights you can take a bit down shadows of it up and select both of them open images <laughs> click our stack as layers and then click flash ambient if I'm going too fast then you can just pause the video and follow me step by step um, okay so this is our blended result as you can see it does like an automatic window pool here um, what else okay so we got coloration here again got the from the flare one of the exposures had that now we'll make a new merge layer and set that to color sample so a brush tool hold down alt or option and sample the color and brush it out sample the color here sample the next area well, that's better uh what else we can flatten uh maybe straighten the image a bit sometimes it doesn't do a uh, uh, perfect straightening but then you can just open up camera raw click on the transform tool so it's shift and t and then drag one line one vertical line this side follow along the frame and then look for something on the other end something like a frame or part of the house like that so then that will straighten it as well and then okay so you just need two lines one on this side one on that side and then finish off in camera raw i don't know if you have a preset or there's something that you like in to do in camera raw and then you can just apply that um what I do have here is a contrast that you can also try. It's different from the other contrast, so you can play with it. If you like a nice contrast to your image, you can try that. Um, yeah, so that's basically how you use this feature. You can use it in batch mode as well. A blend processor, so then that will bring up a few features here for you. So save as JPEG color subtract. I forgot to show about that feature. Let me just close this. Cancel. Um, I'll drag in the one ambient just to show you what that does. Okay, I have both here. So color subtract is a new feature. It kind of like kills your warm cast in the image. So if you click that. And then you'll see it killed some of the warm cast in the image it's on 50 percent you can increase that to 100 percent it also adds a bit of a contrast to it so you can either increase or decrease the, or decrease that contrast uh, you also have an extra cost subtractor here that you can also if you want to kill more of the color then you can increase that to 100 it's on it's it's set to zero 
by default it's on zero so you can just take it up to 100 percent if you want and then that's what you basically get if it's uh so if it's targeting like this yeah outside it's red i don't really want to take all that out there you can click on this mask brush and then only brush on areas that you want to kill that color so something like that yeah so um i hope this video was helpful to you guys uh hopefully i'll make another one soon about something else that i'm missing i've got a lot of videos to make Cheers, guys.